Hey everybody, it's Rockula and welcome back to Rockula Retrospective. It's day 26 of my Vita series, 30 bands in 30 days, and today's band is Voivod. I had mentioned in my previous episode on Victim's Family that I was exposed to a lot of new music when I formed Scum of the Earth with Robert Holt and Chris Thomas. In addition to Victim's Family, I was also introduced to Voivod. My first exposure was listening to the Dimension Hatros album in the Scum Van as we toured the country. This band occupied a strange place in metal. They have always been abrasive, dissonant, and mechanical. Progressive, but not obsessed with the dense and intricate arrangements like most prog metal. They didn't have to play a million miles an hour in order to give you the feeling of power. Voivod was not a speeding bullet. It was a monolithic war machine named Korgul on an even clip and rumbling over the horizon, crushing everything that stands in its path. Dimension Hatros is a concept album where Korgul creates an alternate universe, explores the inhabitants, and then destroys it with a quasar of his own design. The low-end rumble emitted by this machine was powered by the piston-like double bass of Away and the roar of Blackie's blower bass. The high end was inhabited by Piggy's clashing and dissonant chords, as well as the wailing of Snake's vocals. All of this combined to create a very chaotic, but texturally rich atmosphere. Then came Nothing Face, and they seemed to be on the other side of a certain line that I had not experienced yet, having not explored their early material. The concept for this album is that Korgal has erased his own personality because he thought it was too weak and was forced to go into his own mind to retrieve a new personality. The sound was even more expansive and well-produced. These two albums would become play-along albums, and I will get to their importance in a moment. I have only seen Voivod once, and it was at Deep Ellum Live in Dallas. I was up front so I could get a close-up view of Away's drumming. Then came the album Angel Rat, and I was less enthused. In hindsight, I liked the album, but it seriously lacked the chaos of the two previous albums. I started to lose interest. I have listened to their back catalog by now, and I would say that I discovered Voivod right after they crossed a pivotal line in their evolution. Killing Technology is a great album and an interesting listen because it sounds like a rehearsal for Dimension Hatros. There are quite a few riffs that sound similar to the riffs that would appear on the next album, but it does not come across as sounding incomplete or underdeveloped. Killing Technology is the line where I consider Voivod to become listenable. I listen to Roar and War and Pain, but I cannot see listening to those albums as anything more than a historical reference. They are too much on the abrasive side, and I prefer their more polished material. So here's what happened up until now. Blackie left, then Snake left, Piggy and Away formed a three-piece in the 90s, and then Snake came back with Jason Newstead on bass. Piggy died, and Blackie came back for a while. They're still making albums, and they still sound like Voivod. I intend to look into more material soon. There are two indelible marks that Voivod has stamped on my musical progression. One of them is my fondness for abrasive and discordant guitars drenched in spacey reverb and echo, and two is my preference for the mid-tempo double bass style employed by Away. In the early 90s, I was starting to lose my taste for metal because it was becoming a contest to see who could run in place the fastest. I was more interested in power than speed, and Voivod taught me that inertia and momentum are far more unstoppable sounding than an outright sprint. Voivod was one of the few metal bands that I would listen to in the 90s. Once again, as we get towards the end of this list, I find myself wanting to get into more depth about the artists in their catalog, so look for more reviews on Voivod in the future. What do you think of Voivod? Can you fill in the blanks that I have left in this review? Please feel free to give me your thoughts and opinions on Voivod in the comments section below. I'd also appreciate it if you liked, subscribed, and shared. Thanks for watching my Vita series, 30 Bands in 30 Days. Tomorrow is day 27 and the artist is the Voodoo Organist. I'm Rockula and this is Rockula Retrospective.